video, I thought we'd go over a few things about generating images and creating designs. So I'm starting on my phone and I'm going to search for my Bing app here. And I'm going to go into Bing and then I am going to go down to the apps down here on the bottom. And I am going to go to Image Creator and I am going to search up, um, I want a flamingo, flamingo with a sun, um, with a hat and looking dapper and ready to party in a um, not a cartoon but maybe in a beach setting no pool setting so now when I've got that in there I'm going to hit create here and it's going to take a few seconds and then we're going to see what we come up with for images um, the more information that you give this AI tool, the better you're going to get for your images. This isn't quite the design I'm going for. Um, let's add some more here. Um, a flamingo with a hat looking dapper and, whoop, it helps if I spell this right, ready to party in a pool setting with no background non-realistic let's see what we get this time i do like the images that it gave us but that isn't quite the image that i'm looking for and let's see what it comes up with this time i've been trying to get the right image for a while now see now this is pretty good i like this one right here so i might work with this one so I wanted to show you how to do that. So now I am going to download this image and then I am going to bring it into Canva. So I downloaded all three of those images. So now I'm in my Canva account. I have the Canva Pro and I am going to go to custom size here. And as you can see here, you can pick your units that you want to use. But I typically like to use 8 inch by 8 inch. So I have one here from recent that I have used. And so now I am going to go into my uploads here. And I am going to upload those images. So I'm going to go to my downloads. And here they are. Whoops, that's not it. Get up here. One, two, three, and I'm going to bring those into my Canva here. And my favorite one was this one. So I'll bring this in first. And so I really like the look of this. And so what I'd like to do is possibly see if I can remove the background first, see what it looks like when we remove the background. Yeah, not too bad. Now I might have to look for, I'm going to go into elements here and I'm going to look for a flamingo and see if I can put feet on him somehow here. Let's see. I'll make this smaller, get it up here so that I can see if I can get another flamingo going the right direction. This looks like it might work here and possibly put these feet on this flamingo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down and pull this over. And then I'm gonna raise this one up and cut him off to his legs here. And see if I can put this behind. So now I'm gonna go up to position here and I'm gonna send it to the back. And now I have put some feet on my flamingo. Let's see here, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more. Bring this, down. whoops, bring this one up. Bring this one down a little bit more. And I'm gonna make it bigger because the feet look a little small on there. So I wanna get it just in there right. 
where it looks like those might be his feet. I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit and get that those feathers down there. That looks pretty darn good for piecing it together, I think, huh? So now we've got the feet on. So and now that is an image that I really like. So now you can see how you can take an image and I'll go through this one more time with you. So I'll add a new page. I'll go to my uploads and I took this flamingo, removed the background, and then I went to my elements here and I just searched out a flamingo that's going the same direction. I could actually have had a flamingo going the other direction too. So I can bring this one in and then I could flip it like this and then we could add these legs on as well. So let's stretch this out. Actually, this one isn't going to work because it doesn't have the tab to move it up and down. See like this tab right here. So I'm gonna get rid of this one because that one we can't use. And I will pull this one back in again that we had the last time. And so I just took this image, drop this down to where you know, we can get it to a spot where it's just the legs and then you can make it as big as you want to and pop it in. And then of course, we're gonna move this one up and get rid of his legs here, her legs, whatever. And then we'll put them together again and right here. And I'm gonna send these to the back. There you go, there you have it again. So it is that easy to manipulate a design that you want because I really like this image. I just didn't want the water in there because what I'm going to use it for is I'm going to put it on a beach towel with um, a saying on there. And I didn't want the water in the background for on the towel. I just want the flamingo. So I hope this helped you today so you can see how you can incorporate AI and then make some changes to it to make it your own. So now I downloaded my two flamingos here that I made in Canva. So now what I want to do is I went into my Creative Fabrica, I have the all access and I wanna add some words to my design. So I thought, well, I'm going to look for flamingo font. And I really like this one. And this one is the, almost the exact same thing, the ones that are called flamingo here. So I think I am going to download this one. I like it. I like the color. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. It's a little thicker. And for what I'm using it for, I thought, so I thought what we'll do is we'll download a couple fonts and install them into Canva as well. So then I can show you how to install fonts. So I like that one and um, Flamingo de Pink, cute. Um, but the cute flamingo. So let's download this. Just because they're called flamingo, they match our design that we're making. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open each of them and I am going to extract the files. It's so going to hit extract all and I'm going to open the other one and cute flamingo and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to extract all and get that extracted. So now in order to put these on your computer, if you want them on your computer as well, I like to use the open type font. So you just click on it here, open type font, and then you just hit install. So then you can use them in your Cricut design space or anything else that you're using. You're going to need to restart your your. Um, program that you're going to be using. I like to use them in Microsoft Word. They'll show up. Uh, let's see if I can pull up a, a page here. So um, let's go to a new one here. Um, so you can uh, search for, which one did I just install here? Flamingo. No. E, let's see. I can't remember which one. Let's look and see which one before I go too far here. Flamingo, or, yeah, I think, well, we'll install this one too, just to make sure. There we go. Now we're installing it. So now I can find it on Word here. Go here to Word, and you're just going to type something, Flamingo, and I'll make the font bigger so that you can see it here. 
Now oh, let's make this pretty big. And then we just go here and we find flamingo uh, and E. Uh, if I have so many in here, there's just so many good ones to work with. Oh, right here, flamingo. There you go. So that's how you can use it on your computer as well. So I'm going to close this. I don't save that. And I'll close this, get rid of this. And um, I'm not going to install the other one on my computer. I just don't need that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Canva and I'll do another eight by eight here. And I'm going to upload those flamingo images that I just made. So let's find those first um, right here. And I'll select both of them and bring them in. So now they're put together. They have the legs are attached. And so it's the same thing. It's just two different sizes. You can see them here. They're just a little different on where I put the feet. So now I'm gonna bring this in. Now I'm going to go to text here and I'm going to add a text box and I'm going to write copper and I'm going to move this up here where you can see it, make it bigger. And now I'm going to go up here because this is where I'm going to change the font where it says canvas sand here. I'm just going to click on that. And down here at the bottom, it says upload a font. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to search my downloads and I'm going to take this one first, the Flamingo, and I'm going to use the open type font. And yes, we have permission to use it because I have the Creative Fabrica All Access. I'll put a link below for that. Now I can change this font to our Flamingo font. So let's get that highlighted. Whoops. Go here again. And we just find Flamingo. Ah, I've uploaded so many fonts. It's so fun. FG. Where are you, Flamingo? If I could read. There we go. So there it is. There's our font that we just uploaded. And then, of course, you can change the color here. You just go up here to this color icon. And I want to use maybe this color because it is copper, the word copper. And now we're going to upload our other font. So I'm going to put another text box in. And I'm going to write Flamingo here. I'll make this bigger so you can see it. And now we're going to upload our other font and change this one. So I'm going to go to here and upload a font. And we're going to go and find our other font, which was Cute Flamingo. And again, I'm going to use the open type font. Yes, I have permission to use it. And now when it's done, I will go and I'll find Cute Flamingo right here. There we go. That's that simple to add your text, uh, upload a text from anywhere that you want, but I use Creative Fabrica because I have a membership and I think it's a great membership. And so if it's something you're interested in, see my link below. So um, now let's see what we can do with this. I kind of want to make this a pinky color, maybe change it to that. And, but I want it darker. So now I'm going to go to effect here and I'm going to go to outline and I am going to outline this in a white because it's going on a colored towel. And now you can see how that um, got into the word copper here. You can see the white behind it. I really love that effect. So I'm going to move this down, get it in here, go down here with Flamingo and move this to where it looks so you can see the word copper, but yet I want to have that look of it going through the F there, kind of like that. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to put the white, I because I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be using DTF on this. I have a DTF printer, and so I'm going to make this a DTF image to go onto a. Actually, they're um, the beach towels with the tassels on the end. I can't remember what they're called right offhand, but they look really good with this on there. So I'm going to make this bigger as well. Move it over a little again. 
because I like these colors together. And did you see when I went to put this color in and I hit the color icon here, it actually gives you um, colors to pick from, from our flamingo. You see that? So that is a really interesting thing with Canva. So now move this over again, get it down a little bit. Because I want this to be in here. I don't want to cover the hat, but I just want it just right where you can just barely see them overlapping a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to download my image. So I'm going to share and download. I'm going to raise my DPI up because like I said, I have the pro. I don't need it that big. I'll get it about that size. I'm going to add my transparent background. And I'm going to call this Copper Flamingo. That is the name of my daughter's Havana by her pool. And that's why I named it Copper Flamingo here. So now I get, again, download, raise my DPI up, transparent background. I'm going to be downloading it as a PNG. So I'm just going to download this. And then I'm going to print it and put it on a towel. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. See links below and leave me a comment.